So I'm back here with another video. Uh, this is the last video of this F2 female. This is her second clutch. She double clutched this year and I didn't actually try to do that. Um, she apparently retained some sperm and had a nice, it looks to be another good clutch of five eggs, I believe. There might be one stuck up here. I can't tell just yet since she's in the process of laying this last egg, but you can see she's pushing it towards the cloaca. It's just about to come out. Once it kind of breaches over that la the front part of the egg, it should just really slide out pretty quickly. But I'm hoping to catch this here so we can see this last egg live being laid. So snake eggs aren't like chicken eggs. They're actually leathery a little bit, pliable. Um, they have a little bit of glue on them. Oh, there it is. So it's, she's going about to maybe a couple more pushes. She'll get that out. But And this is basically the second clutch, as I mentioned. The first clutch for this girl was of eight eggs. So uh, 13 total for her this year, which is great. The other girl, F1, laid a total of 10 eggs in her first clutch, all of which hatched. And then I actually tried to double clutch her, but it didn't uh, look like it didn't take. The, she laid, I believe, three or four slugs, which I was a little bit disappointed, which was why I didn't try to double clutch this one. I just thought maybe it was too late. But uh, apparently she had other plans in mind. But as you can see, that last egg is just coming out. And she's just about to get that thing fully out of her if she just moves forward one one or two more pushes that'll be that'll be it for for that last egg I believe so let's just hang out here for a couple more minutes and see if that comes totally out it's always super cool to see eggs being laid So basically my egg box setup is just a bunch of vermiculite watered, uh, moistened down, nothing too fancy. It cut a hole in the top of the Tupperware. Uh, does create a bit of a mess. She likes to, they normally like to track around, try to, what they're doing is mimicking uh, nature where they're trying to find a suitable spot. And obviously the damp, the damp uh, texture of the vermiculite is is where they normally try to seek out in the wild. Uh, somewhere where it's damp, underground typically, somewhere where it's warm will remain a constant, you know, 85-ish degrees, 80 between 82, I would say, and 85 degrees. The uh, I did incubate a little bit higher on the first two clutches uh, that were hatched at about 85 degrees, and they came out about a week early, so... Uh, typically, uh, but the babies were really robust. They were big. They absorbed most of their yolk, almost all their yolk. So they looked like they were really healthy. So I wasn't worried about that. Um, and I'll, I'll probably do the same. I actually just incubated them right in the rack uh, with the, where the adults are housed. So pretty neat. But it looks like she's just about finished with this last egg. And now actually that I'm looking at it, it's a little bit off colored so maybe this is a slug I don't know it might just be that it's uh, so fresh that it hasn't uh, whitened up a little bit or calcified I suppose is uh, what it what it does but anyway that's the video for this second clutch for this Mexican black king snake female f2 uh, thank you for watching our video